Hey you, what's up guys, the Camper Rusher here. Uh, just want to introduce you to a new series kind of thing here. It's a, basically a how-to series, except with a little special spin on it. Uh, you guys will kind of get the concept once you start watching here, but I just... Can I, I'm just going to remind you guys to hit that like button and leave a comment if you enjoyed this and want more stuff like this uh, in the upcoming future because I had a lot of fun making this video and I really think you'll enjoy with the spin and everything and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, this will come out more often, stuff like this, more how-tos if you are down for that idea. So definitely let me know. Enjoy the video, Rushers. Hey you, what's up guys? The Camper Rusher here. Welcome to How to Make a house in Minecraft. Now, there's all these different perceptions of what's good, what's bad, and I'm here as the camping rusher, Brayden, or the legend of house making. I'm here to tell you how to make a very, very distinctive house compared to the other tutorials that you may see. So let's kick this video off right now. If you're excited for this brand new series, hit that like button and leave a comment saying, house just that's it just house but let's get started so the first step in creating the perfect not perfect but extravagant perfect house is to find an area to make the house and conveniently there is a perfect flat land right to our right here right right to our right here ah my, my comrades and um therefore this i think this is this is looking like a pretty good place so um Let's get started with the basics. First of all, you're going to need 25 wood planks. Now, you may want to pause the video here. You may even want to rewind the video to kind of refresh what I have already said. But basically, if you guys want to pause and, and do this tutorial with me, I totally understand because this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial. And oh my god, it's going to be tough to follow because there's some pretty crazy stuff. But let's go. So first of all, step two is you're going to need 25 wood planks. That means approximately seven logs and you will have a few or a couple left over. Now the hard part is finding a tree. But oh, a tree right off in the distance. And it started raining. One of the other things is you can never have, you know, that rain stuff. But yeah, conveniently, there is a naturally spawned tree right here with seven pieces of wood. I better hop in, well, I, you know, some things, some things you do have to uh, grab from creative mode if you, uh, you know, some things are just too difficult to get. So you're going to have to spawn in a diamond axe real quick. And then I'm going to jump into survival mode here and grab these conveniently set seven pieces of log that uh, will be the perfect amount for the distinctive house that we are about. Okay, good. I thought, I thought there was only six. It would have been game over from there. Oh, wait. Step two. This is one of the most important steps. Because this, my friends, is the start. This is building the floor. So what you're going to want to do is turn these logs into oak wood planks. It can be any color wood. It really depends on you. Um, let me just tell you, the colors do clash if you choose a different color of wood. But you'll see what I mean in a second here. So this looks like a pretty fancy spot here. So what you're going to want is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5 square. So that's kind of how you're going to do it. Just a nice little floor square here. Nice little wood square floor here. And uh, this is going to be the base of the, uh, of the immaculate conception that we are about to create. Now, you may not know what that means, what I just said. And I don't either. But we're going to roll with it. So next. Next, my friends. This is one of the best steps. Mostly because, well, you'll see. Next, you're going to need approximately 69 pieces of dirt. 69. Now... It may be a little bit off of the exact number you actually need for this very, very perfect house, but if you get lower or more than 69 blocks of dirt, you have built the house wrong and you will forever be a f shameful, shameful creator of the perfect house designed by yours truly. So here we go. Some things, of course, are easier to get in creative, so we're going to hop in. Well, you know what, we'll... we'll, we'll uh, well, yeah, you know what? We'll just grab 69 pieces of dirt. That's 64 right there. And of course, no more, no less. That's 69 pieces of dirt. So let's hop back in Survivor. Remember, creative is still real. Just remember that. Remember exactly what I just said. So now, this part gets a little tricky, okay? Because one of the things with this perfect house design that I created back in 1969 is you gotta, 
you got you got to conserve your blocks. So what you want to do, you don't want to have a baseline here of wall, or you don't want to wall here because you want to use all this space, right? So what you're gonna want to do is place one dirt block here, but only temporary, temporary, because you're gonna want to use that dirt block to branch off a little bit, just like that. And then you can take this block back so that you don't waste anything. And then you can go around and make your wall outline. So this is going to be your walls. And of course you need walls to shelter you from the evils of the night. And the cold weather. And sometimes daylight, if you don't like daylight. Again, you can do it with the corners too. Is just make a little bit of a temporary, temporary dirt block placement. And then you can move on. Kind of like this, which is perfect. Do this for all four corners. Because of course you don't want to just leave one corner. Because that would look bad. And it's all about looking the part. So there we go. Uh, we are going to want to bring this one in because uh, we got to set up for what's what's coming next here. And it, it you guys, you really got to stay focused here. Like number number two or number number five most important thing with building the perfect house is you got to stay focused. You got to keep your head in the game because if you don't, you're you're not going to have a chance of making it in 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 the building world. And oh, that's okay. That's okay. Little mistake right there place a dirt block in the wrong place but let's keep moving it's all about being hasty too so all right we've got a little wall borderline here but the thing is is your character me being a cow in a suit your character is actually one point you know you're about 1.7 1.8 1.69 blocks high which means that you need at least two blocks to walk around it so we're going to need a two block roof a two block room basically well not room a house this is a house so again, we're going to have to roll with the temporary block place. Get that there. We're going to have to retrieve that real quick. And then we've got the outline for our roof started. Now, of course, six, because we got 69 blocks right from the start, we are, we are fine. We are looking real good here. We should, just, we should actually have a few extra pieces of dirt, which uh, I have a very good use for. So we have six pieces of dirt left. This is the beginnings of our house right here. So, okay, okay, we're making progress. Now, of course... Of course, you don't want to be jumping into your room like that because that won't work with uh, with one of the future steps coming up here. So let's uh, let's branch out a little bit. So here we go. We've got three pieces of dirt left. Of course, of course, we've got to make a little bit of a platform so that you know where you're supposed to jump on. You don't want to be coming in from the side. That's just not classy. It's all about being classy. So now you've got you've used your 69 pieces of dirt. And this is what we've got so far. Now, don't worry. It may look a little bit rough around the edges, but... In all honesty, it's really shaping up, and I'm sure lots of you guys can see that. So let's move on to, well, one of the most important steps, the door. Now, unfortunately, the door is not something you can actually collect in the survival, in the survival game mode of Minecraft. So instead, you're going to have to jump into creative, search up door, and uh, you're going to want to roll with the, the wooden door, because those you can just right-click right open. And once you have that, oh god, my phone just buzzed. That's a sign, guys. That's a sign that we're doing good so far. All right, so now that we've got the door placed, we can get rid of that. So that that's a little bit of a tough one because you can only get that in a in 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 creative mode, which is which is tough, which is tough. Uh, okay. Now now the next part. So we've got we're looking pretty good. One thing I'm gonna do here is I do have my uh, uh or no I don't. I was gonna say I do have my gamma turned up, but I guess I don't. So now. Now here's a little bit of an issue. So uh, we're going to be heading inside here for a second. Now we've got the basic outer outer of our uh, of our place right here. Actually, I did remember here that we're actually going to need this wood plank to cover right there because we need the door and the wood to clash a little bit and just just mix in it. It just works nice with the with the tone and the and the shade of everything. It's just really good. So um, next up, we're going to need a bed because you know what are you going to do if you can't sleep? So of course. You're going to want to either kill some sheep, which I'm not a killer. I'm a lover. So I'm just going to spawn in a bed. And um, and I'm going to put that right here. So now I've got myself a nice little bed that I can sleep in. And uh, that's look that's not looking like a normal bed to me. But hey, we'll get over it. Now, of course, if you're a turner or a snorer or something along those lines, you're going to want two beds. Or if you have a, a male or female friend or even an animal friend that you like to sleep with, then double bed is the way to go. So... There's that now. Okay, this part, this I'll actually show you guys how to craft the next part. We're gonna need a light source, even though it's looking pretty light right now. If we do turn it to nighttime, it could get a little bit choppy outdoors. So we'll turn it to night here. And I do warn you, there are there are zombies outside, but we'll keep her going here. 
So you're going to want to get some coal. Of course, you can mine this in the under layers of, of the Minecraft world. But instead, I'm going to head over to Trusty Creative because that's that's kind of where I live. That's where I shine. I'm not going to lie. Um, all right. It looks like we're going to have to jump into survival here to do some crafting. But hey, no one's complaining. We're still rolling. We're making time. And you're going to want to put a torch. And that torch has a very specific place. It's all about being even. So we're going to put it right there. And now we look great. Oh yeah, it's all about being even. So we're going to want to put one right there. And there. Okay. Now we've got a little bit of a light source in our house. Now there's two final steps. You cannot live in the world of Minecraft without a friend. And therefore I say to you, you must spawn in a wolf companion. And not only that, once you've tamed the wolf, you actually have to spawn in a, a ocelot companion so that the wolf has something to snack on while you're out on your adventures. So that's kind of the thing here. I'll, 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 I'll get them spawned here just so you can get a better look at what I'm, what I'm talking about here. Um, Alright, looks like this guy's already tamed, which is real nice. And... um. Okay, so yeah, they, they do live in harmony at some times, which uh, you do get lucky. I don't, I'm not a cat person myself, but I would rather him chomp this, this girl up right here, but like, you know, it's really up to them. So let's head back into time day here, and uh, let's just take a quick final peek at the creation that we have bestowed upon the world of Minecraft. This, my friends, rushers, anyone new watching, is the perfect Minecraft house. Thank you for watching how to make a house and if you enjoyed this video and want me to do another how to and more stuff like this then please go down scroll down quickly hit the like button and in the comments just simply write house house or how to make a house or something along those lines to let me know that you enjoyed and you guys are great <laughs> so um yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Join the Rushers by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Have a great day. And this is kind of a new thing on my channel. I hope it goes over well with you guys. And like I said, have an awesome day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.